Morning, guys. Hope you guys are doing good. All right. Let's go ahead and we're going to start on the very you know, front, front edge of your chair. Yeah, very front edge. And just going to start sitting it up tall. And let's go ahead and reach our arms up towards the ceiling first. Oh yeah, wake that up right there. Just lengthening up through here. And then let's bring our hands together, press our palms up towards the ceiling, and we're just going to lean over to the right. Think about that left foot, trying to keep yourself grounded. Just leaning. Just that wonderful morning stretch, bring this back to center. And we're going to lean it over to the other side. So now we're going to keep our right foot pressed into the floor. So leaning over to the left, right foot is pressed. Good. And bring that back to center. Unclasp those hands and we can release our arms down. Get the blood flowing back and go ahead and rotate those shoulders. Very good and rotate that the other way. And rotate that back. And take that forward. Good, drop that chin down to chest. Still sitting up tall and still, we're still sitting it kind of at the very edge, front edge of your chair. And bring that head up to center. Let's look over to the right. Think about the chin going over. And head back to neutral, looking to the left. Over. And back to center, drop that right ear towards the right shoulder. And to center and left ear to left shoulder. and head back to center, drop that chin to chest. And let's do just a few half neck circles here, just taking this from side to side, just a few times. Side, side, to side. Good, and bring that head back to center. Lift that head back up and let's lift our arms back up. Same thing that we did at the very beginning, clasp our hands, press our palms and lean it over to the right our left foot down and start to begin to slow that breath and make that breath deeper. Good, bring this to center and take it to the other side. Bring it over to the left, right foot is pressed down. and bring that center. Let's inhale deeply here and then exhale it out. Release our arms down, roll the shoulders back and roll that forward. Good, look to the right and look to the left. Head back to neutral, drop right ear, right shoulder and then chin to chest and left ear, left shoulder, and chin to chest. So some neck circles here again. Some nice half neck circles. Very good. Good, and then go ahead and bring that back up to center, back up to neutral, roll the shoulders back, and roll that forward. One more time with these arms raised like this, we're gonna lift this up, clasp our hands, Press our palms, reach over to the right or lengthen over to the right. Keep that left foot down, left foot down. Breathe here, deep inhale and exhale it out. Good, bring this to center. Now lean over to the left, inhale here and exhale. 
and bring this back to center. Inhale here. And exhale it out. Good. Bring our arms out in front of us. Take those palms out. And let's go ahead and rotate our wrists and rotate the other way. Good. Open our arms up. Take our palms facing up. Let's do those um, fists. Roll our fists in towards our wrists and then do a little bicep curl here. We're still on the very edge of our chair. Let's open this up. A nice little seated cat and cow right here. And then go ahead and round this, all those together. And open this up. And then round this. And inhale and open this up. And exhale and round. And inhale and open up. And then exhale and round. Good, go ahead and open this back up. Take our arms out, open those hands, palms down, and then let's go ahead and take our hands right there on our knees and open that chest again, and then go ahead and round this again. So that seated cat and cow, but this time, you don't want like pressure on your knees, you wanna kind of be grabbing behind your knees and then using that. So let's open here, you can bend those elbows, and then as we round, you're straightening through those arms, Open this here again, and then round this. And then bring this back to center. Take our left hand across to our right thigh. Right hand just comes to the side of the chair and let's do a, a little baby spinal twist here. Inhale deep, and then exhale it out. And bring this back to center, other side. So take our right hand to our left thigh. Left hand goes to the side of the chair. Little baby twist here. Inhaling it deep, and then exhale it out. Good, bring this back to center. Now, we're going to turn ourselves to the right. So we've got our legs off to the right. Lengthen up through our arms, and we're gonna take both, we're gonna actually twist our torso to the back of the chair, take both of our hands to the back of the chair, and use that leverage right there to get a really, really, really good twist here in the spine. So sitting it up tall, facing the back of your chair, you've got both of your hands on the back of the chair. Think about that tailbone pointed down, crown of the head lifting up, that really, really nice straight back. Inhale deep here. And then exhale it out. Again, inhale deeply here and exhale it out. Good, bring those arms back up and then release this down. Good, let's take it to the other side. So this is a very, if you ever need a deeper, deeper stretch in that spine and you've been sitting around, sitting for a long time in the day, this is a great way to do it is to take yourself to the side of the chair, reach up through our arms and then go ahead and take our hands to the back of the chair and use that leverage to lengthen and twist through that spine. So on this side, again, tailbone is pointed down. Think about sitting up very tall, crown of the head lifting, and let's do two deep breaths here. So let's inhale it deep and exhale it out. And again, inhale it deep and exhale it out. Oh, that feels great. And then go ahead and bring this back to center, reach back up through our arms, and then release this down. Very nice. And bringing ourselves back to our center. Let's go ahead and go into our seated sun salutation so you can get your blocks ready. We're at the center of our chair, or you could be, again, towards the very edge of the chair. It's whatever feels best for your center of gravity, wherever you feel most balanced. So let's inhale and lengthen up through our arms. And then let's exhale and dive it down and over. So we have that nice forward fold and maybe your forward fold is feeling a little better because we just did those deep twists right there. So we've got that nice forward fold, hands on our blocks or our shins. Let's inhale and lengthen through the spine and the arms. So tailbone is down towards the seat of the chair, crown of the head lifting towards the sky. And then release this back into forward fold. Good, inhale, lengthen. 
And then exhale and release. Inhale, lengthen once again. And exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up nice and big. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Good, inhale, lengthen. Let's hold this here. You can exhale while we're in this lengthened position and press our right hand into our block and let's go ahead and twist open to the left side. Arm lifted up and breathe. And then go ahead and release this down and relax that. Good, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Good, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Let's go ahead and hold this here. You can exhale while we're lengthened. And now let's press our left hand into the block and twist open the right. And breathe. And then release that. Good, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. We're gonna do this one more time on each side, this spinal twist. So let's press our right hand into the floor and you can exhale as you twist this open. And then find that breath here while we stay twisted open here to the left. And then go ahead and release that. Good, relax that head and neck. Inhale and lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Hold this here. Press our left hand into block. Twist it open and breathe. And then go ahead and release this. Relax that. Inhale, lengthen through spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, sitting here nice and tall. So lengthen back up through that spine. Inhale deeply. As we exhale, let's hinge it forward and do spinal twist to the left. So that right elbow, right tricep is trying to get to that left thigh. Seated spinal twist and breathe. And then go ahead and bring this back to center. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Sitting this up tall, tall spine. Inhale deeply. And exhale, hinge this forward and seated twist, spinal twist to the right. So that left elbow, tricep, trying to get to that right thigh.
and bring us back to center. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Good. Inhale, lengthen through that spine. And then release that. Very nice. Roll this up one vertebrae at a time. Roll our shoulders back. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and bring your arms up into cactus arms. So opening that chest. And from here, we're going to scoop back. So maybe your shoulder blades can rest against the back of the chair and leaning this back. So we're gonna get a little bit of a back arch here. So it's a nice low back arch stretch because we're gonna do a bigger back arch, arch stretch in a little while, but just opening this up and then go ahead and bring that forward. Good, roll those shoulders back and roll that forward and scoot yourself away just a little bit. Backs aren't against the chair yet. Let's go ahead and do our legs. So we'll warm up that lower body. Let's lengthen through those legs, flex through our feet and lift up through our arms until we are in that staff pose, seated staff pose. Let's go four breaths here, inhaling it deep and then exhale. And again, inhale it deep and exhale. Two more times, inhale it deep and exhale, and one more time, inhale it deep, and exhale, good, release our arms, keep our legs, and let's do hamstring curl leg extension, so keep our feet flexed, and extend this up, let's go for eight, bring this back in, there's seven, and curl this in, here's six, and curl this in, still sitting up tall, Here's five and curl this in. It's four, curl it in. Three, bring this in. It's two and bring this in and one. Good, go ahead and release that. We're gonna do a little bit for the hip flexor. So scoot yourself back forward and take our hands either on the side of your chair or reach for the back of your chair because we're gonna do a, or you can have your hands like we do on the floor you can have your hands behind you because we're gonna do kind of a reverse plank but our knees are bent. So just finding the space that's gonna work for you there. This is gonna open our hip flexors after we just did that leg extension. Hands are to the side of the chair or behind you. And then let's go ahead and go into that a little bit table top. So a modified table. So we've got our hands behind us, we've got our legs, or our pelvis lifted. That's our focus is we're lifting that pelvis up, squeezing those glutes, opening those hip flexors and working those quadriceps. So hold this here, two more breaths. Inhale it deep and exhale. And one more time, inhale it deep and exhale. Good, but take that seat, very nice. Let's lift our right leg up. You can keep our left leg down and rotate our ankle. Good job. And rotate it the other way. Go ahead and point that toe and flex that foot and point that toe and flex that foot. We're gonna be scooting front and back a lot. <laughs> we need to scoot forward again. So scoot it forward again, taking our right ankle and let's take it right to that left thigh or that foot. And we're way on the front of that chair so that you can actually hinge forward more and let gravity do the do the one of the, the teachers. On Peloton, she's one of my favorite yoga teachers. She's really good. But she pulls herself all the way forward. And I'm like, how are you doing that? <laughs> how are your hip flexors so loose? But we're leaning it forward and we're breathing. Amazing. But I don't think she she's not a spin instructor. She's just so I don't I think it's the spinning and the running that just is man tightens that up right there. 
good. And then we can release that and we can scoot it back, scoot it back so that your leg is still up on your thigh and scooting all the way back. So let's inhale deeply here, sitting up in the back against the back of the chair and then exhale, putting that forward. And then inhale that tall. And then exhale, hinges forward. And then inhale it up tall. And then hinges forward. And then inhale it up tall. And hinges forward. Very good. Sit this up tall. Let's take our left hand to our right thigh so that we're still in that piriformis, so still in that figure four. And let's do a little bit of a twist. Right. And then bring this to center. Now we can bring that leg in. So you can release that leg and kind of bring it in. Give it a big hug here. And then we're going to take it over into shoelace or half shoelace. So let's take our right foot over our left, place it, left leg, place it on the left corner of the chair. And now let's wrap our left arm around and then let's twist over to the right again. Breathe. And then bring this to center and twist it towards the inside. And then go ahead and bring that back to center and we can release that right leg, shake that up. But let's take ourselves back into a staff pose. Let's go four breaths in our staff pose. So let's take our legs back up, flex through our feet, lengthen up through our arms, four breaths here, inhale deep and exhale it out. And again, inhale deep and exhale it out. And inhale deep. And exhale it out and inhale it deep and exhale it out. Good, releasing our arms, hamstring curl, leg extension. Let's go for eight. So bring this in for eight and extend. Here's seven and extend. Here's six and extend. It's five and extend. It's four and lengthen, three and lengthen, it's two and extend, and last one and extend. Good. Go ahead and release that. Shake that. Scoot it forward and let's do the hip flexor, the reverse plank or reverse, um, the, yeah, tabletop, reverse tabletop one more time. So hands either to the side of the chair or behind you, whatever is working for you, place our feet on the floor and let's go ahead and lift this up. So go ahead and lift that pelvis, lift those glutes, feels really good on the wrists too. Very, very good. Holding this here. Let's hold a few more breaths, inhale and exhale. And again, inhale deep. And exhale. Good. And then go ahead and release that down. Very nice. And let's go ahead and take that left leg up. Oh, actually, let's rotate the ankle first and rotate the other way. And then we'll take it onto that ankle onto our thigh. And you can scoot yourself forward so that maybe gravity can help you <laughs> with this forward fold. Oh, yeah. Very good. Keep breathing. And then keep that ankle to that thigh or that foot to that thigh. And let's scooch all the way back against the feet of the chair and sit this up tall. Let's inhale it deeply here. 
and exhale, hinge it forward. And inhale up, and exhale, hinge. And inhale up tall, and exhale, hinge. And inhale it up tall, and exhale, hinge. Very good. Let's go ahead and twist it to the left. So take our right hand to our left thigh, do a little twist here. And then bring this back to center. And we can release that, give that a big hug to the center. And then we'll take it to half shoelace on this side. So taking a heel to that right corner, let's wrap our right arm around and twist it to the left and breathe. And then go ahead and bring this back to center and release that. Very good. All right. So we're going to bring ourselves to the left side of our chair, and you're going to give the right leg the side of the chair, and we're going to take our left leg behind us. So now and we've got our right foot in front of us. So if you were kind of like in a warrior one, but that heel stayed lifted behind us. So we're in a high lunge. So our right leg is supported by the chair. Our left leg is behind us off to the, like on the side. So we've got, and if we wanted to raise our arms, we've got a nice, oh yeah, a nice warrior one right here. So another really, really good stretch for that hip flexor, for that good strengthening for that leg. And let's go ahead and drop our right hand and reach over with the left arm. Really reach through this. And then bring both of those arms back up center and get that really, really nice. So it's like a crescent. It's a supported crescent here because we've got our heel, our back heel is lifted. We've got that front knee bent. We've got that nice almost warrior one stance. Good, and then go ahead and release that down. Very good. Now let's go ahead and give that right leg the rest of the chair and let's take our left leg off to the side. So now we can take ourselves over and now we're getting more of that lateral right there. That leg is lifted. And let's go ahead and reach this up here. Let's take our right arm and let's go ahead and lengthen over with the left again. And then go ahead and windmill this arm and let's reach right. Let's go ahead and breathe. Good. And then release this. Now let's go ahead and turn and we will do our pigeon. So pressing that toe into the floor, other leg is supported. And if it's available to you, you've got a slight back bend going on here. If it's not, then you're lengthening up through that spine, but keeping that back heel lifted, back foot is engaged, so not letting it fall asleep. And then let's go ahead and take this forward. So hands are either on the chair, elbows are on the chair, or forward folded right here and taking this down. Not forgetting to breathe. Good, and then try to lift this back up. Let's lengthen back up through this. Reach back up through those arms. And then forward fold it again, either on the hands, on the elbows, or all the way down.
And we'll go ahead and press ourselves up and bring ourselves back to center. Let's take our right leg up to the side and find our warrior two legs. So opening this up, nice warrior two. Left leg is off to the side, right knee is bent. Face is relaxed, strong arms right here. Drop our back arm, take our palm up, peaceful warrior. And from this peaceful warrior, let's take ourselves down into a strong side angle. And we're going to bring ourselves up. Good. Peaceful warrior one more time. Drop that and reach. And then side angle. Get that over. And then go ahead and bring this back up and release that. Very good. Oh, very nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and give our left leg chair. Oh, I hit. It. Okay. But this time we're taking our left leg just to the side and bringing our right leg behind us. So we're going to go into that. Nice little crescent legs on the other side. So we've got that, or that lunge, almost warrior one legs. Very good. And lengthening up through this. Yeah. Really stretching out through that hip flexor, quadricep. Let's go ahead and drop that left hand and reach it over the right. And then bring this back to center and reach back up to this. Really reach up to that. And then release that. Good. Let's give that left leg a chair. And take the left leg over. And let's go ahead and reach over. Actually, sorry, let's reach this way first. So let's go ahead and go left or yeah. Right arm is up, reaching to the left. And then let's windmill that and switch and reach. And then release that. And let's go ahead and turn this so that we are in a pigeon. Back foot pressed into the floor. Heel is lifted. If it's available, slight back bend here, reaching up through this. It's very good. And then let's go ahead and forward fold it. Either on hands, on elbows, or all the way. But keep that back leg engaged. Good, lengthen back up through this. Reach back up through those arms, slide back in here. And then forward fold it one more time. And to the hands, to the elbows, or all the way in. And 
And then go ahead and bring ourselves up. Take our left leg up to the side. Find our warrior two legs. And warrior two arms. Very strong here and breathe. Good. Let's drop our back arm, take our palm up, and go to Peaceful Warrior. And from here, let's take it to side angle pose, sticking this over. And then back into warrior two. Strong warrior. Warrior two here. Drop our back arm on up. Peaceful warrior reach. And side angle pose. Take this over. And then bring this back up and release that. Very nice. Keep our legs wide. Bring ourselves forward to front of our chair. Take our blocks to our feet, inner, inner thighs. And let's go ahead and take our right hand on our right block and let's twist up again. So twisting up to the left. Oh, so good. Spinal twist here and breathe. And then release this down. Nice wide forward fold. Let's take it to the other side. So left hand is on block, right hand is lifted up. And then release this. We're going to keep our legs wide and you can take your blocks however you need them to help you get up off of the chair. So keeping our legs wide, Blocks are wherever you want them for your hands. And we're going to press into our feet and lift our glutes up off the chair. So go ahead and let's lift this up. Wide-legged forward fold. Oh, feel those hamstrings. Good. Very nice. And keep this nice wide-legged forward fold. Let's press our hands into those blocks and lengthen through that spine. So we have a tabletop, wide leg, tabletop right here, a nice flat back, and then release this to that forward fold. Let's take our hands right to our hip creases and then lead with our head as we bring ourselves up and standing up. Very good. Let's move the chair. And we'll go into modified downward facing dog. So hands are to the back of the chair. Let's walk our legs back, feet together. Toes don't have to be together. They can be together. It's wherever it feels most comfortable for you. And let's lengthen through that spine and allow that head to drop between those arms and shoulders. And it's that. Downward facing dog, stretch that if you've got tight shoulders or wrist issues and you do a regular downward facing dog on the floor, maybe your head isn't allowed, like it can't go through the shoulders, but this is a good way to do that, to get into that position. If you don't have that mobility on the floor, you can do that same stretch right here that head falling between those arms. Right there. And then those hamstrings just automatically having to stretch. Very good. 
And then let's release this. Go ahead and round this up, roll our shoulders back. Let's go into dancer. So let's go to come to um, the back of the chair and let's do, take our right hand to our right foot. You can do single hand with the dancer or you can grab with that other foot or other hand too and do a double hand. Up to you, it's wherever it feels most um, supportive for you. And we're gonna go ahead, we're up tall and then let's begin to hinge this forward, kicking that right foot back so that you get a good stretch in the shoulder, bicep, tricep, and then really good stretch in that quadricep. Very good. Stand this up tall and let's bring our right foot around. Right ankle is gonna go to that left thigh and let's take a seat here. So our, another piriformis. And then sit this up tall or stand this up tall and you can release that and shake that out. Let's go ahead and go to the other side. So dancer on the other side, reaching back for that foot up tall and you can reach with both hands or with one hand and begin to, once you're up really tall, begin to hinge this forward and kick that left foot back so that you get a good stretch in that left arm. And then a good stretch in that left quadricep. And then go ahead and hinge this up, sitting up tall, standing up tall. And then let's go ahead and bring that foot around to that thigh and take a seat here for us right here. and then release that, good. One more time with that modified down dog. So bringing those arms out, head between those shoulders and letting those legs just stretch. Such a good hamstring stretch too. So if you're thinking about that glutes and that tailbone, lifting high, so not letting them droop. And it's almost like a cat and cow, if you can think of it like that too, like we're dropping that belly. Lifting that tail high. When you stretch like that, those knees can tend to roll in towards each other. Try and keep those feet pressed, big toes, little toes and heels, so that those knees stay open and not rolling in towards one another. So it's your hip uh, joints rolling in. So we really want that good stretch here in the joints and the hamstrings. And then go ahead and round this up, roll our shoulders back, very good. We can turn that chair around. We're gonna take ourselves onto our backs for our inversion for our shoulder stand. And you want your strap too, and then whatever you need for final relaxation, you can push that down there on the floor too. But let's go ahead and take ourselves down onto the floor. Take our legs up onto the chair. And scoot ourselves forward. Put our legs up. Let's take our block or your hard pillows, whatever you want for your sacrum or underneath your low back. And let's go ahead. We've got our sacrum lifted. And we're gonna go ahead and lift our legs up. So we've got our nice modified shoulder stand here. We are lifted into the air. You can have your arms out to the side. 
Or if you want, you can go into a full dead bug here. Those arms, the shoulders, imagining the shoulders are like asleep. And your wrists are tied with string to the ceiling. So there's an imaginary, like somebody's imaginary holding your arms up for you. Just holding this here. Enjoy this inversion in the head or legs higher than the heart, arms. And then let's go ahead and release those arms off to the side and you can release your feet down to the chair. Just for a moment, and we'll do all of that one more time. We'll go back to inhaling and exhaling. And for our second time, let's go ahead and bring our legs back up. And if you want, you don't have to have those arms up. I just like the way that that feels. It's a nice opposition. Or you can have your arms out to the side, but this time palms down. It's up to you. You can have that full dead bug. But really, if you've got your arms up, really imagine that you are not in control of them. They're very relaxed. It's, it's, it's odd to think about because you're holding them up, but just relax those fingers, the wrists, and breathe. And go ahead, we release those arms and you can release the legs back to that chair. Very good. And then you can release that block you had underneath your sacrum. Good. Let's go ahead and scoot that chair away. Give yourself the mat, grab your strap. And let's go ahead and take that strap around our right foot. You can lengthen through that left leg and pull that right knee in towards the torso, towards the chest. Let's press up through that heel to the ceiling. Pull the leg towards you. Let's keep the strap in our left hand and then let's go ahead and do a deep spinal twist. So dropping that left leg across into that deep twist. That, or right, right leg across, sorry. Right leg is across into that deep twist. Right arm is out to the side and looking over to the right and breathe it deeply here. So we bring this leg back to center, pull that towards you, bend at your other leg, and let's go ahead and release that strap. Take our right foot or right ankle, foot ankle to that foot, left thigh, and go ahead and press that inner thigh away. And then go ahead and grab that right foot behind that right knee. And then let's fold, so fold that leg.
and release that. And release that. <laughs> Take our strap around our other foot, sticking around our left foot. Go ahead and pull that in and give Ellie a nice big hug. Right leg is straight. Let's press through our left heel to the ceiling, pull that leg towards you. Keep our strap in our right hand and let's drop this across, deep twist. Left arm is off to the side. Let's look to the left and breathe. It was one of those stretches today that I didn't know I needed it until I did it. I'm like, oh, this is the best stretch I could do. Very good. Breathe into it. And then go ahead and bring this leg back to center. Pull that towards you. Let's bend at the other leg. Release that strap. Take our left ankle to our right thigh. Press that leg away. So press that left thigh away. And then... Go ahead, reach behind that left knee, behind or grab that left foot, and imagine folding that leg onto the belly and chest. So we've done a lot of hip flexor stuff today. A lot of hips, glutes, back, a lot of back. And release that. Good. Grab whatever you need for final relaxation and let's move into that. Let's lengthen through our legs towards one end of the room. Reach through our fingers towards the other end. You can put that eye pillow over your eyes if you've got your eye pillow. Blanket, regular blanket, regular pillow, whatever you need for your relaxation. Got a few moments of it here, but we're lengthening through that body. Lower back is lifted, rib cage is lifted. The lungs are full of oxygen, full of air, floating that body and lifting it up. Inhale very deeply here. And with your exhale, allow yourself to begin to sink and settle. Let those feet fall open. Relax your jaw. Release, sorry, neck, chest, arms. Relax and release that entire body and give yourself a few moments of quiet to slow everything down. Maybe take mental, do a mental checklist. Places that might need relaxing, breathing into specific areas, maybe of tightness or tension. So, next few
discover that thing. Kind of bend at those knees. Placing our feet into the floor. Tuck that tailbone under so that that low back can flatten against the floor. Okay, good. That's what we call the stretch back, low back stretch right here. Then you can drop those knees over to your most comfortable side. Take yourself onto your side. And a few breaths here. Very slowly, let's begin to bring ourselves up in your time, finding a seated pose that feels strong for you. And sitting that up to fall, crown the head, lifting, spine is lengthening. And inhale, sweep our arms up big. Bring our palms together. And as we exhale, eyes are following our fingers. Take our chin to our chest. Lift that head center, taking fingers to forehead. As we leave today, let us think thoughts of truth. Taking our fingers to our lips. As we leave today, let us speak words of love. And taking our hands to our hearts. As we leave today, let our lives be a light of truth and a light of love, having hearts of compassion and mercy, knowing that we have not been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love and a sound and peaceful mind. Inhaling it deeply. And exhale that out. And one more time, deep inhale. And big cleansing exhale. And have a blessed rest of your Tuesday and a good Wednesday tomorrow. And we will see you 